Good morning, Kentucky. Welcome to this ABC 36 News update. Here's what's making news now. Autopsy results could be released today after a Lexington toddler dies in a hot car. It happened over the weekend on North Upper Street. Two-year-old April Knight's paternal grandparents were watching her Saturday afternoon. April was found inside the grandparents' car unresponsive. She was pronounced dead at UK Hospital. Police say the grandparents may have been dealing with another emergency at the time and simply left the child in the hot car. Again, that autopsy has been performed by the state medical examiner's office, but those results are pending. Lexington's Crimes Against Children Unit is investigating the incident. No word from police yet on if those grandparents will face any charges. A man is in jail in Pulaski County after a weekend crash that left a Mount Vernon woman dead. It happened Sunday afternoon on Kentucky 39. Investigators say 26-year-old Jose Santiago Cuevas was driving a truck southbound when he lost control and slammed head-on into a car driven by 38-year-old Sheila Lovell. Lovell was pronounced dead at the scene. Cuevas is now charged with murder and DUI, among other things. Fifteen years in prison for the Frankfurt man who admitted to breaking into a neighbor's home and killing her dog. According to the State Journal, 25-year-old Samuel Payne pleaded guilty to two counts of second-degree burglary and one count of animal cruelty Friday. He was sentenced to 15 years on the burglary charges and a concurrent one-year sentence for animal cruelty. Lawyers say Payne broke into a woman's home and stole a laptop. He then shot and killed her dog, who was barking at him. Well, the special session could wrap up today as the gambling bill makes its way to the Senate. House lawmakers approved legislation Friday allowing Kentucky's racetracks to install video gambling terminals. Senate President David Williams says the bill is lacking the support it needs to pass through his chamber, and he's offering a proposal to funnel money to the state's horse tracks through a surcharge on lottery ticket sales. We're not going to put them in the slot machine business. We're going to supplement the purses and let them be competitive with other racetracks around without having to change the line of work they're in. Several other states already allow some type of video gambling at their racetracks. Work will begin today to fill the vacant center point site with dirt and grass. Developer Dudley Webb says he's getting the dirt from another Lexington construction project. Many people have complained about the large hole left in downtown Lexington and the lack of progress on the $250 million high-rise project. Webb says the death of a key investor is delaying the financing, so as they wait for his estate to be settled, he will level out the block and plant Kentucky bluegrass, which should cover the ground by early fall. In a statement, Webb reiterated he and his partners are fully committed to building Center Point, though they can't pinpoint when construction will begin. That is your update. Be sure to check for new information at WTVQ.com.